What is good YouTube? Welcome back to another video man and today I got something special. I got a gold Cerakoted slide on a Glock 17 Gen 4. It is airsoft but don't worry I got something else planned for my real firearms coming real soon. So I'm about to start Cerakoting all my guns. Y'all know I just went to Texas. I did the little airsoft Glock collection against GHG real collection. You know he don't got no switches on his things but I got some switches and you feel me he just had a lot more customization than me all his guns were seracoded he had custom stippling um he even had gold guns you feel me really the only custom glock that i have is the gold slide with the engravement on my 26 you know the 19x comes um with the fde brown whatever coyote brown desert tan and then i do have the double barrel glock 17 but we're gonna start spicing it up man so today I got my first gold gun and I got something working on all my other firearms. So stay tuned. My Glock collection is about to go up crazy. I'm trying to tell y'all, I might have the hardest Glocks in my state. At least I'm gonna have the hardest Glocks. And then you feel me, we gonna move up. Might have the hardest Glocks in the nation. You feel me, step by step, day by day, Glock by Glock. But let's get into this unboxing, man. Here it go right here, Glock 17. Look at that thing, boy that thing, solid gold. It kind of looked like honey mustard on the screen, but in person it looked more golden. But like, my lighting in here, I don't got no ring light or nothing. I don't got no studio lighting in my room, so that's why it kind of looked like um, Burger King honey mustard. But there it go, man, y'all see it. It's just like the other Glock 17 that I have, Airsoft. But, you feel me, obviously it has a gold Cerakoted slide. I did already um, make a little adjustment to it, if you know what I'm saying, a little mod. Gots to go, my boy. But that's just because I use all my airsoft guns for entertainment. I'm not doing nothing outside with these other than, you know, making videos with my friends in a safe and controlled environment. So if you're buying any airsoft guns that are replicas of Glocks, Six Hours, Taurus Pistols, any replicas, do not take the tip off and go outside trying to act like it's real bro like because y'all gonna get me in trouble like i'm trying to be a positive influence on y'all keep your orange tip on your guns if y'all gonna be playing outside with them i don't play with my guns outside like you feel me i'm not going outside and just shooting this i'm making videos on it and unboxing it for y'all but we do got the finger grooves on there let's just get some close-ups of this thing real quick actually You know, that 17 frame is so lovely, man. We love that curved booty handle with the nice grip on there. Got the tack railing if you want to throw a little old light on there or something. It got the uh, regular iron sights on there. It got the back serrations, no front. I kind of, I'm iffy with the front serrations. I don't really know. I like them on some guns, but at the same time, it looks cleaner without it. Like, you feel me, Glock? 17 gem for austria you feel me i'd be racking my slide from the back anyways i don't really handle the gun from the front too much you know i want to keep that nice and clean on there that slide i want no fingerprints on my golden goodness the barrel looks pretty clean too don't mind the tip hey yo but on camera it's not picking up the gold that well so it does look more yellow brown but in person i'm trying to tell y'all this thing do look a little bit more golden than it's being represented by the camera angles. I have the same 17 about three times in Airsoft. So I got the double barrel 17. Y'all seen that before. Make sure y'all go check that video out. Then I have the regular Glock 17 Gen 4. And I also have the gold. So these boys are twins. I might as well make this one diamond now. I got gold and diamond like, like I'm playing real life Call of Duty. I think it actually looks better now that I moved back. Shoosh! Backside. Hey, y'all let me know. Is that my custom serial number for an airsoft gun? Or they just print the same one on every gun? Like, I got the same serial number as somebody that's out here hitting licks with an airsoft gun. So think about it, right? The manufacturer that makes the BB guns, y'all gotta start putting real serial numbers on these. Because if dude up the street got the same Glock as me, we got the same serial number. He hit a lick, you feel me? He might pop somebody with it. Now they going to the police, they gonna come to me, and they gonna match the gun. But look, it's not me, you feel me? Just like if them boys in the White House trying to patch ghost guns, 
Y'all gotta start patching these replica airsoft guns, you feel me? Like, don't patch me. Patch the, the dudes that's being bad with them, you feel me? It's not the gun that's bad, it's the people, you feel me? I'm pro 2A, I'm legal, all my guns is legal. Y'all would never see me with any illegal guns on YouTube. Like, come on now. Anything that y'all see me do is legal. I'm not gonna post me doing nothing illegal on the internet. Just keep that in your mind. It's Cause I know some past videos of mine, you know, it might have construed your thoughts a little bit to think, oh, Iguop kinda illegal. No, I'm completely 100% legal. Remember that. All right, so the only thing left to do now is the shooting test. It's time to load this thing up with some green gas and some BBs and get to busting, man. Boom, boom, boom. I got some .12 gram in there. I know y'all always telling me, yo, Iguop, you need to get some heavier weighted BBs to shoot in your Glocks. I know I should be shooting .20, .25, but these are just cheap, and I've had them for like two years, and I've never ran out because I barely shoot my BB guns. You feel me? Like, I'm not really an airsofter in real life. I just make these videos for fun, and I like the way they look, and I like to shoot my friends with them, but hey, man. Safety first. I'm a trained professional, so please do not try this at home, but I will be testing that fire rate of the Glock 17 with the golden slide. So let's go ahead, load her up, get the bussin' in this B. All right, so interesting. I dumped the magazine, it didn't lock back. I think it was running out of green gas at the end. Actually, it wasn't done yet. There was still one in the magazine, so. All right, yeah, I think it ran out of green gas, so. There was one left. Let's try to get some more green gas in there. I think these tanks are kind of running low. I probably need to purchase some new ones. But you feel me? Like I said, I barely use my airsoft guns, bro. I only use them on camera, so I barely have to buy equipment for, like, the BBs and the um, green gas, because I always got some, but might be time to re-up. Actually, I'm not going to do two hands because I want y'all to get a good view of it. Ouch, Ouch bro. One of those definitely did not just bounce back and hit me in the leg because I'm a safe control professional. But we got it to lock back this time. That thing got a nice fire rate, of course, like all the other semi-automatic Glocks that I have. Um... I can already see some scraping going on on the internals. So with the slide being Cerakoted gold, obviously this is not actual gold, but it's a gold color Cerakoted from Evike. You can kind of see the paint is chipping on the inside from being racked and unracked and like towards where the firing pin would be. Um, it's also chipping, but overall, I think this was a pretty solid purchase, I'm not gonna lie. It's really just to spice up my um, airsoft collection, but if y'all are at home and y'all are thinking about getting this, I don't know if I would do it because I think this costs like $230 just for a gold slide. Like you would get a regular Glock 17 um, airsoft gun for like 100 something, but you're gonna pay another $100 just to have the gold slide. If you got money like that, then do it, but it's literally the same thing just a gold slider knot so it's up to you man if you want to pay a hondon to get this thing gold wrapped cerakoted i'm not gonna stop you but in my opinion you could probably get a gold sharpie at walmart and color the glock 17 and make it custom that might be what i start doing i'm about to start custom painting these go to the art supply store and start drawing stuff on here like a custom because it's airsoft you feel me at the end of the day I'm not gonna draw my real firearms, but these airsoft guns, bro, I can get a marker and just write whatever I want on them, throw stickers. So, hey, make sure y'all subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about this gold Glock 17 right here. Was it worth the $230? I know it's definitely gonna be fun to do some spin the bottle challenges with it this summer and you know, just get shot with a gold Glock. I got a gold Glock 17 and GHG got that gold Glock 50 GI, so. I think that pretty much even us out. I'm not going to lie. So smash that like button. Make sure y'all stay tuned. I got some big things on the way. Appreciate y'all for watching the whole video. I'm going to catch y'all on my next one, man.
I know y'all see the merch. Guac Gang, the merch is back. If y'all want to shop the Guac Gang merch, you could just go to my channel and then scroll over past videos, playlist, community, and then store so you can actually see. Or you could go to the Guac Gang merch Instagram page, click the link in the description, and boom, it'll bring you right to the website. And once you get your merch in, take pictures in it, tag Guac Gang merch, tag Eastside Givens, I'll repost it.